Greetings and salutations. This is Jason Silverain, and I'm back with another video. Now I'm making my way through Rakens and Tales. Ah, I love that thing. And uh, while say in the last video I had a couple of gripes with it, I'm not. A f I'm just going to say I'm not a fan of the traditional RPG Maker battle system. I don't like how most of the moves are just really poorly named and not immediately obvious what the hell's going on. Uh, I don't like how you don't have a, your maximum HP next to your HP. It's something I didn't like in Final Fantasy VIII. I don't like having to memorize what my maximum HP is. The items don't tell you how much they restore or anything. There's just a complete lack of feedback and information, which makes it, someone like me who's kind of a strategic player, very frustrated. <laughs> So far, it's a horror, uh, it's a, a massive copyright infringement galore, but you know, it's story-wise, it's kind of interesting. Um, I keep, I currently feel like I'm completely railroaded, though. Um, part of me wants to get in, start talking to the characters, doing something, but I'm stuck in this almost interactive movie. However, I do like the fact Kite is one of the first people you get. He's a, one of my favourite characters. Well, he is my favourite character from Dot Hack. You play as him, so yeah. But I am also annoyed that I had to pick my skill set from the start. I kind of picked a roguey style skill set. And I picked fire as an element. Kite is a rogue and is has fire as an element. So, well, damn it. Fair point. Seriously, don't know what's going on. And flashback. That must be weird being told that you're a fictional character as someone else's reality. That's kind of creepy. Do they even know what video games are? Well, it shows they have kind of technology because while we were selling inventions. That's not a plague, that's a natural disaster! That's not a plague! <laughs> Yay, Final Fantasy reference. Are all the pages blank? Or filled in?
basically he's filling in the storybook. Okay, he's now having a nervous breakdown. Oh, you can't do something without someone to help. Help yourself! Wow, another save point already. And it's just been a cutscene. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fangirling? Finally! Freedom! Freedom! And it's only taken, what, nearly an hour? Okay. Let's have a look. Oh man, at least all my stuff's back up to full. Um... Okay. So have I got anything at all? No. Uh, item. So I have the book. Can read it. Nice, good way of having the. Um... Sort of, I need to check the plot. Can't look around there. Ah, uh, shift is run, that's helpful. Now, just from a layout perspective, this is obviously a cafe, but it's so bare. I mean, there's nothing, it's just bare walls. No, it's very dull in terms of design. I mean, the plaza, though, is much better. So pretty. Okay, clown who, uh, dressed like a pirate who can separate his body parts. I totally want a prunny in my party. And why does it have these like broken down versions of gossip and such? They dress. Who the hell is he supposed to be like? This is the green skin. Blue Lake Town has the water out. Oh, I would have never guessed that. But it's supposed to be like that line between reality and fiction, and Yeah. 
one moment once I finish oh god I I'm gonna get stuck in there at some point aren't I so you tent you can't walk through so that explains why there's no like shopkeepers under them but also the fact that's not dead center messes with me a little bit. I'm guessing when you're running through town it, it makes it easier. Um, so it's more of a player ease thing, but it's just these big huge spaces with nothing in them. You know, it doesn't feel like a living town. And it wouldn't, you know, hurt to have, I don't know. I mean, that's the entrance to town. Why not have a guard barracks here? Um, why not have a stables or you know, some markets, you know, people selling things. And then you go up, and there's one store. It just doesn't feel laid out right. Yeah, here's all the buildings, which is nice, but it suffers a bit from that whole fancy town that doesn't actually... Oh, right. Oh, fair enough. Which prick of a night. Um, again, it's all... Uh, it's all a bit of a nitpick about the actual area design. I mean, it's functional, but... And I think this is like a, just a personal project. You know, I'm not going to expect, like... Amazing area design and such. And, they probably want the ease to run around it as well as um, it looking good. That said, they've got a very nice uh, building uh, sprite sheet here. I don't remember that being an original one. Again, last time I used RPG Maker to, you know, XP or 2000 years ago. I think it was back in 2004, so. against the wall. And we're Dinosaur Critter. He's a guard. Well, that sucks for her. Oh, that's not good. It's drunk Cooper. Join uh, multiple guilds. Okay, I part of me is a bit reluctant to go into houses, but I can't even go into that one um, because I don't want to kind of advance the plot at all yet. I want to kind of explore and see the design. Can't go in there. Now let's have a look. I really hope this isn't going to be one of those where I have to go up and use every barrel to see if it's got anything in. Find secrets. Feels like there should be something there. Can't go in that building. Pirate dressed like a clown, not a clown dead dressed like a pirate. Well, that probably explains where the children have gone, but then again, if you're trying to attract children, never. You wouldn't um, dress as a clown. Come on! Okay, there we go. So I don't know about you, uh, most kids I know hate clowns. Enough. 
Pretty dude. At least he remembered to put dude at the end of every sentence. Slimes are weak to fire and ice. Aquatic forms are weak to thunder. Yep. Elements that are opposing them. Yeah. That's uh, logical enough. Legal guilds? Rose guild, yeah. Okay, can't go in that one either. So much about war not war sorry. So much about worrying about going in the buildings and inadvertently uh, causing uh, the plot to move on when I don't want to. That's enough. North Guild District, South Entrance, West Shopping, East uh, Night HQ. So yeah, there we go. Monster girl fetish. Oh well. One man's goo girls, another man's kink. Clown pirate. I'm trying to think, who the hell is a clown pirate who can detach their limbs? I mean, it could be Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't remember any of them. Dressed in as a clown or anything. It's obviously going to be some sort of cartoon character. So, just to remind myself, North is Guild, South is Entrance, West is Shopping, East is Night. Now, best bridges I've seen. Not the worst though. You can walk over these ones. I'm guessing it says I'm this row because I picked the dex bonus. Let me guess Resident Evil. Blake, that's a familiar name. Can't go in that house. So, lots of information about the guilds. A um, lot of information about the plague. There's this different thing between an official guild and an independent guild. So lots of knights are quitting. Rogue guild character, I bet.
So I've heard at least three or four different guilds mentioned, but there's only two in this town. Oh, that was actually a quick transition. So where the hell was the area I was in before I got punched flying? Do I have a choice of who to join? Fair enough. Hey, wait a minute, I'm gonna go check something. Is it one of those illusions of freedom? Did I ever have a choice but to go towards the guild? Oh, I did. It's a shopping district. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna say this again. Respect the ease of use for a player to go around and explore an area, but the town layout is a bit lame. <laughs> it doesn't just doesn't look appealing. I mean, the sprite sheet's nice, but the layout of the buildings just is a bit. Okay, I like the fact they've got those. Like, those are quite cool uh, little additions, but again, big open space, boring to look at. There's nothing in it. Oh, accessory shop. So we have duplicate shopkeepers. That's nice. Uh, I may have to get some armor, but I don't really want to buy anything just yet until the game starts poking me to go buy some new armor and weapons. And we got... Yeah. Your standard. Your standard beginning town gear. Wait. Just one moment, I'm going to have a quick double take of that. Yeah, nothing in here either. I imagine they made a lot of the areas by... Well, a lot of the shops by copy-pasting and just changing a few things in there. Can I go into this guild? Yeah, so you can only go into the Nazi guild. Fair enough. Well, I'm going to get here. Why is there no windows for that building? Well, they're up there, but... And that building has got probably too many windows. It's all nitpicking design-wise, I know. I'm sorry, mate, but... You wanted someone to play through this and review, uh, have a look? It's just... I'm going to bring these things up. Okay... I am absolutely starving, I've not had anything to eat today, and it's already like halfway through the day, so I'm gonna leave the video here, and uh, get myself some lunch. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.